we've been talking about your budget and forecasting. So how do you work out what the sales are going to look like? You know, you haven't started yet. It's, it's a new business that you're launching or you're introducing a new product. How do you work out what the sales are going to look like? Well, you should have done your research on what your competitors are doing and understand what their price points are and how they charge and those sort of things. So there's a few things that you can look at. So you can go, go down the pathway of ballpark figure uh, and our vertical sales um, channel spreadsheet will really help you to identify the size of the market uh, and potentially what per percentage of that market might be yours. And then you can put some marketing that sits around that. You can also look at what, as I said, what your competitors are charging, run your pricing spreadsheet so you can make sure your pricing is right. And then how many do you need to sell each month or each week or each quarter or even each year so that you can work out what uh, all those numbers are gonna look like for you. You can go ask an advisor. A lot of accountants and bookkeepers will perform this function for you. They'll prepare the cash flow forecast for you. They'll look at the sales forecasting for you. But it is your obligation to make sure you check what your competitors are doing, that your product pricing is correct, that the value proposition that you offer is on point and meets your personal values and goals. And those are the things that you need. And then they can prepare it for you. Um, the important thing about sales forecasting is it will never be right 100%. It can be a little bit of guesstimate work there. Uh, look at your competitors, look at, you know, if it's a new product that you're introducing uh, along with another uh, existing suite of products, maybe you've got some intelligence of what this new product may do. But go check the market, ask, ask people out there, if I had this product and it was, this is the value that I would bring. Would you buy it? What price point might you, you uh, accept as good value for this product to meet your pain point? Those are things you need to ask and to have that research so that I, either you can put the numbers into the metrics or you can get your professional advisor to do it. The other way you could do it is look at the bottom line you need to give you the lifestyle and to you know, give you the food on the table and work backwards. That can be a very valid way as well. Know what your expenses are, know what it's gonna cost you to create. So what does the number up the top need to look like? What's the income that you need to generate for that product?